hello friends today we are going to discuss the matrix representation of a graph okay so for presenting a graph in computational format we use matrix for representing the graph so two important and frequently used matrix representation of graph are one representation is called incidence matrix and the another representation is called agency matrix so in this video we are going to discuss about the incidence matrix okay so for incidence matrix suppose if g be a graph without any self loop having n number of vertices and e edges then we take n by e matrix which is which we can represent it by capital a which is equals to a of aij in which n is representing the number of rows and which corresponds to n vertices okay or we can say the rows representing the vertices and e e representing the column which corresponding to e edges so it is called an incidence matrix and we uh, find out the matrix by a i j is equal to 1 or 0 means this incidence matrix having a, either a value 1 or 0 if the value 1 is if vertex vi is incident on h ej then the aij is equals to 1 otherwise we take the value as 0 so this is how we take we find out the incidence matrix in which we take n by e matrix where n represent the number of rows or we can say n number of vertices and e represent the column of which we can say e is a number of edges so ai of aij equals to 1 or 0 the value 1 is the value of, uh, is 1 when the vertex vi is incident on h ej otherwise the value is 0 now Now uh, we take an another uh, we take an example to solve this question. Suppose if we have a graph like this in which we have our vertices A, B, C, D, E, F, and having eight edges E one, E two, E three, E four, E five, E six, E seven, E eight. Now we have to construct the incidence matrix for this particular graph. Then so we have A of G is equal to A I J. Which is equals to n n n is rows, which we represent by n is number of edges, and e represent edges, which will corresponds to column. Okay, edges or column, and rows and vertices. So here we are having a to f uh, vertices. It represents it represent the rows so we a take a b c d e f it represent the number of rows and column represent the edges so we are having e1 to e8 edges so we take this as e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 e7 and e8 so this is how we construct the a uh, structure of the incidence matrix in which we take number of vertices represent the number of rows and the column represent the number of edges now as we already discussed if the vertex vi is incident on h ej then we take the value 1 otherwise we take the value 0 so see here this a vertex this a vertex or or we can say on vertex a the two edges e1 and e5 are incident or we can say lie on this vertex a therefore on row a e1 and h e5 having a value 1 and the remaining edges values are 0 okay now we take vertex b see here on vertex b 1 2 3 4 the degree of the vertex is 4 so on b vertex there are four edges incident e1 e6 e7 and e2 therefore the value of e1 the value of e2 the value of e6 and e7 are 0 and the remaining values are 
sorry the e1 e2 e6 in e7 are 1 and the remaining values are 0 now similarly on the vertex c the degree of the vertex c is 2 that means there are two edges which incident on c that is e2 and e3 therefore the edges e2 and e3 value are 1 and the remaining values are 0 now we take the another vertex that is d the degree of vertex d is 3 that means there are three edges which are incident on the on this vertex d that is e3 e7 and e4 therefore e3 e4 and e7 are having value 1 and the rest of the edges values are 0 now consider the edge e or oh sorry vertex e so see here the vertex or the or we can say the degree of this vertex e are 1 2 3 4 that means it have four uh, edges are incident that is e5 e6 and e4 and e8 are incident are incident on this uh, vertex e therefore e5 value of e5 e4 or uh, e6 and e8 are having a value 1 and the rest values are 0 and the last vertex f the degree of this vertex f is 1 which means that it the only single what only single edge that is e8 is incident on this vertex therefore the vertex e8 value is 1 and the rest values are remains 0 so this is how we construct the incidence matrix for this particular graph okay now after constructing this uh, incidence matrix we have some observation about the incidence matrix of a graph g and that observation are that each column of a has exactly two ones has or we can say sorry each column of this matrix each column has two ones which means exactly two ones means first is column have uh, column have exactly two ones which means that each edge in G is incident on exactly two vertices. Second observation is that the total number of ones in, in a each row gives a degree of a corresponding vertex. So, suppose for this vertex A, the number of ones are 1 and 1. The number of ones are 2. This means that the degree of this vertex A is 2. So, second observation say that the total number of ones, total number of ones, in a row gives a degree gives the degree of corresponding vertex of corresponding vertex okay so this is the second observation now the third observation is a row with num no ones if a row is having no ones that means that vertex is a isolated vertex which or which we can say that on that vertex no edge can, will be lie or no edge will be incident that edge uh, vertex is called isolated vertex second uh, next observation is if a row has exactly one ones exactly one ones that is f in this row f row we are having only single one exactly one this means that this vertex is called pendant vertex pendant vertex is a vertex having a degree one so these are some observation about the incidence matrix and the last observation is that if we are having and uh, if we if we are having a graph g which is a disconnected graph which we are having a disconnected graph and it, it consists of two components g1 and g2 if a graph is disconnected that we are having more than one component so if this graph g is a disconnected and we are having g1 and g2 are two component then the incidence matrix for this disconnected graph will be shown by a of g1 0 0 and a of g2 so this is how we represent the incidence matrix for the disconnected graph where a of g1 and a of g2 are the incidence matrix of component g1 and g2 okay so we take an uh, take an example which is a disconnected graph and then we uh, create a incidence matrix for that suppose we are having a graph like this 
uh, A, B, C, E1, E2 and E3 and we have are having an another component that is D, E and F having edges E4, E5 and E6. Now see here. As this graph is a disconnected graph having two components G1 and G2 and the combination of G1 and G2 conclude a graph G. Okay. Now if we have to construct the incidence matrix for this disconnected graph then we will create or we will prepare like this. Suppose in G1 graph we are having uh, three vertex that is A, B, C. So here the vertex represents the number of rows and G2 graph having a, another three vertex that is E, sorry, uh, D, E and F. So this represents the rows. Now the column is represent the number of edges. So there are in G1 graph uh, we are having three edges E1, E2 and E3 and then E4, E5 and E6 represent the number of column. Now say in the same pattern on vertex A two edges are incident that is E1 and E3. So E1 and E3 are having value two, uh, 1 and the remaining values are 0. Then on vertex B two edges are incident that is E1 and E2. So E1 and E2 are having value 1 and the rest values are 0. On vertex C E3 and E2 are incident. So E2 and E3 are value are having a value is 1 and the rest of the values are 0. Then on D uh, E4 and E5 and the rest values are 0. On E, uh, E5 and E6 are 1. The rest values are 0. And uh, last is for F, E4 and E6 are 1 and the rest values are 0. So if we plot a line here, it represents the A of G1, 0, 0, A of G2. Similar in this pattern. A of G1, 0, 0 and A of G2. So this is how we prepare the incidence matrix for our connected graph as well as for the disconnected graph. So I hope you understood this and if you, have, if you still have any query then you can ask in our comment section and you can share our video and subscribe our channel. So keep watching our video. Thank you so much.